Greetings, Dan Halligan with Canta Games. I'm here to show off the new dynamic opponent along with a new attempt at the AI, third one. It's, it's what I call a value AI. I'll bring it up on the screen here. And it's designed to do two things. One's got to be easier to use. My, my second one in particular was very confusing. But more importantly, it adds intelligence to the artificial intelligence as far as its purchases from the market. I think you'll like it. I am not going to edit this, and I am going to go so fast, I'm going to make a gazillion mistakes, and I'm not going to have any strategy. I want to show this thing in action and keep this video at a reasonable period of time. So turn number one, open courtship. We have an essentials theme. Uh, it means I'm not going to play that like I normally do. Uh, I want that servant's quarter, so I'm going Bowling Green. Camera's a little bit in an awkward position, so I'm going to be moving back and forth around it. Bring out the Earl and his lady. Gets me the 500 pounds to acquire that, which is at a premium. Gets me some invites, which in my awkward position, I've got to go around the camera. Whoa, look at that for an early pull. How can you turn down an American heiress when you have no reputation? That's as good as it gets. Sorry there, sweetheart. You're going in the discard. And I'm going to flip this. And I am over here. First AI roll. We see, oh, I need to refresh this market. We see that we get a 13. I'll bring the AI up on the uh, screen. And you can see that a 13 does not trigger a value tile analysis, which would be 1 to 8, which would be a value tile. It goes right, it's just straight positional. From 9 to 20, there's no involvement in this value analysis. So uh, 13 is position 2, fence paddock. I'm so happy that they want the fence paddock. They just get a first level guess. That's my favorite thing in the world for them. goes right into their gentry deck. The young lady is going to be their courtship target per setup. Go to turn two. Remember, they have the servants' hall, and they normally steal reputation, but I have no reputation. And you know what? I'm going to remain without reputation. Go in the bag here. Come out with a conservatory, which I want for that objective. And maybe I will get it because I'm going to play her and Honorable Winston Hayward. Uh, that is going to get me from the main gazebo because I don't want to do anything that gets me reputation, do I? Servant's quarters, I can use that footman. Gets me 900, I don't lose that three reputation, and it gets me a prestige guest. So 900 and a prestige guest, I very much like that. That goes over there. Well, we like her, don't we? Bring her up so you can take a look. Beautiful. Goes over there. And so I have 900 to spend. Um, I'm going to gamble on leaving that conservatory there. And I'm going to get this out of... Ah, I'm going to take the smoking room. Just don't want them to climb in reputation. Ah, i got to take it. Sorry. I'll, I'll net 200... I'm going to take the North Dining Room, prevent them from getting that and tying me in the courtship. Reach in the bag here, and out comes the West Terrace, which isn't good. We don't like to give them this prestige guess if we can. So we come to the second AI here, and we've got seven. Now we're going to see for the first time the value tile analysis. We rolled something in one to eight, so we come down over to the value tile hierarchy, and we ask ourselves if there's an occurrence of this type of tile in the market. If there is, I buy it. If there's more than one, I take the least expensive option. So is there a courtship monument? No, there isn't. Is there a courtship tile? There's no essentials out there. We're in a theme of essentials. Is there a monument tile? No. Is there a prestige tile? Yes, there is. That's what I wanted to deny them by taking that smoking room, but they now get three reputation. They flip that and they get into a very strong position as it relates to prestige courtship, maybe in season two. So they're now done. Remember, the servants hall, which I haven't mentioned, but I still don't have any reputation. They can't steal from me because I am in the dumpster as far as reputation. Okay, pull out. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. 
It's really not what I wanted to see, the West Saloon. So now we go to the Village Fair. I did not flip that for the Village Fair. Go up to 600 for here, and they get two reputation. They get up to there. So they benefited from the fair, and I did not. I am going to rotate my service. And I think I'm going to try to climb out of my prestige hole. Whoop, that's the discard pile, Dan. I should, should know the rules here. I'm going to play these two here. Am I going to play these two here? Because I need... Yes, I can. Boy, I almost had a heart attack there. And I can take her because of the servant's quarters. That is going to net me an invite, 100 pounds and three reputation. There's going to be my invite, love him. 100 pounds gets me up to 300, and I'm going to get three reputation. A very efficient little turn. Flip this over here, and it goes into my hand, goes into my discard pile. I have 300 to spend. No question I'm going to grab a brushing room. No question that slides down. Now i got to pray that on this roll they do not get a 1 to 8. Oh, jeez. Now I've got two positional opportunities to lose this courtship. So let's see. Give me a number. Nine! Dang, that's perfect. Because nine, if you look at what I bring up, they take position one. They get the tennis court and those 300 pounds, which I am absolutely delighted to give you. And then this slides down here. And let's reach in the bag here. Grab another tennis court. Love it. So... That worked out well because we now get to the first courtship. I am the winner of that courtship. I just used my young lady, so I'm not going to try to get the full level of reputation. I'm going to go with Elizabeth, and I'm going to grab five victory points, put that there, and decide what we want to do with that. So now we rotate that. We go here. We have a second theme of sporting. They have five, and I have two. I'm not out of that, am I? Let's see how that goes. But they go first, and so now they can steal a reputation. So they steal a reputation. I go down, and they go up. We do their roll, and look at that. So now we come over, bring it up on the screen. No courtship monument, but we get to a courtship tile. Yes, there is, but there's a tennis court, and they can't duplicate. So in that case, we would go past that courtship tile to a monument tile. No. Prestige tile. No. Estate tile. And they get the gabled conservatory my my gam oh my gosh last turn i forgot about the gable i told you i was going to play stupid so forgive me and they get two casual guests which from a, a favor point of view I'm, I'm delighted with but losing out on that losing out on that group is not the not the best thing there so slide this down Let's reach in the bag, the, the bag, and another smoking room comes out, which he can't buy, which is pretty good. I'm going to rotate service. I'm going after green. I could grab that tennis court and play it if I could get 500 pounds, and I have no chance in heck to get 500 pounds. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to play in another direction. I'll let the two lovers come out here. I'm going to go here here play here it's 200 pounds two reputation a prestige guest I'm going to take the 100 pounds to 300 pounds and a prestige guest make that up to five and take two reputation and going to take a prestige guest this is going to give me a three five I'm not going to be using her for a while Whoa. Goes in the discard pile. Come back here. Next turn, the AI just gets a third objective card. I get two. And finish the game with only starting servants. I can do that. I got the brushing room in the servants' quarters, and that's ten points. I'm going to try to do that. So that's that goes there. And um, now we get the... Purchase decision. We have a 19. How about that? No purchase. That's fantastic. Great to get a little breather like that. So we're still in the...
turn number six comes to me, I rotate service, and I think I have to pass. I do have to pass, so pass it is, so this comes down. But one of the things I love to do more than any, oh, I, I did, pardon me, I forgot to take my reputation, and they get a reputation, and they go to three. This uses Frank Calcagno. I hope I said that right. A little stack methodology on the tiles. Um, so I've gone ahead and given up that reputation. I forgot that. Remember I said I would be forgetting things and making mistakes. So I've got a pass, but I'm doing now what I like to do, which is what I call a value pass. The fact that I have 700, 700 pounds when I'm doing a pass. And I take a look at this. Um, I could get and play that tennis court and hope that another one doesn't come out. I can tie them in reputation. So I'm going to take that. I hate to pay 700 pounds for a tennis court, but I'm playing the courtship game here. And I reach in and I get a barn. Okay. So refresh my cards. We're good. We come over here, steal a reputation. Boy, that's painful early. And we get to the purchase decision. We're going to have a minus two. 18, 16, we come for 16, is position four, north dining room. Son of a gun. That doesn't make me happy from the standpoint of the final courtship. But they don't get a lot in the way of favors, so I'm not too bummed out about that. So I slide that down here, reach in and grab. Jeez, these things keep coming out of the breakfast room. And it's now turn number seven. It's my turn. I've just passed. I'm going to get a second use out of my young lady. And where is she? There. Oh, my courtship interest. But you're not going to see the gentleman. So I need reputation. I've got to go to the front parlor and make a big reputation play. Or do I go? Yeah, I have. I, oh, geez. Now I'm going to do that and go to the main gazebo. No, I got to. I can't get to the. I got to get. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't pay attention to my reputation. <laughs> See, I told you not playing well. Okay. Well, at least we got a lot of benefits here. We're going to see two take one on the guest, get a prestige guest, and get four reputation to get me clear of the servants hall screwing me up. See two take one. Love her. Maybe I can do a prestige guest play. Love her. Eh, she's okay. This does have 300 pounds. So those go in my hand. I get four reputation. One, two, three, four. That's up now at two. I can play the tennis court, but not soon enough. And these go here. She is now going to go back over here for our courtship, which is going to be one. The gentleman is going to come out, and they're going to get the benefit of one full level of reputation. And a casual guest to the bottom of their deck, and they will court for that season. First player marker comes over to me. Well, there's a little bit of time that's passed from just where we left off. And so the lighting's going to have changed, and the cat's knocked over something, so I had to put it back. Hopefully everything's good. So what are we doing? We're starting a, a new season. We're going to have a courtship in Prestige, which isn't so bad, given that I could, uh, I'm only, I'm not too far behind there. Village Fair, we're going to get two reputation, and I'm going to give him five and put two back. Um, first player marker moved to me. I'm going to rotate service. And I'll tell you, my options are limited because I get very little reputation from ladies. I'm going to go here to the front parlor. This is, I'm, I'm really getting crushed. And I'm going to use this heiress one more time to get that smoking room to try to tie them for the, uh, the courtship this season. So I am going to lose one reputation, three minus two. I'm going to get an invite for the young lady. Oh, good gentleman, and then look at two, keep one, and they're both miserable, but it's another American heiress. <laughs> what the hell? Let's keep the heiresses. Better than that guy. This guy go into the hand, and we get the 800. So I'll leave the 800 out there because I'm taking 
I'm taking uh, the smoking room at 600, which I'm going to play next turn, and slide this down, take my 200 that I would be owed, reach in and grab a new tile, billiards room. Uh, I don't want them to get that. So now we go over to here. They're going to, oh my God. They're going to steal a reputation. Put me back at one. I'm getting absolutely crushed. Uh, so they steal a reputation. I have purchase decision being made. We have eight. Bring up the AI. Value tile analysis. There's no courtship monument. There's no courtship tile. There's no monument tile. There's no prestige tile. There is an estate tile. They're going to get that West Terrace. That hurts. Boy, they've locked up a state if that's ever in play. And they get a guest here who's a four who automatically triggers. Let me bring that up so you can see. She triggers, so goes to the bottom of the deck, and we get another prestige guest invite, which is a five, which we'll sit there and await for them to climb up two more points of reputation. That's very bad and very dangerous. So this slides here, we slide down here. I wanted to give you a look at this dynamic AI. I don't know that I wanted to necessarily get a barn, give you a look at uh, me getting absolutely obliterated playing the dynamic AI, but uh, such is life. So now we're up to turn nine. Let's slide this here, this comes here. I'm gonna go, oh, I wanted to go to the smoking room. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Wow, 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 wow. All right, y'all gonna laugh. I cannot catch up anything in reputation. I have to ignore reputation and go with a major money play. So I don't care any longer about reputation, which means I'm gonna be stuck. Well, it means I'm gonna be all the way, I'll be playing first level tiles the whole way. That, that's, that's insane. Has it ever been done? No, it's never been done successfully. But I'm just going to go all money. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the bowling green here. I'm going to play this, this, play this. <laughs> I get an 1,100 money. What the hell? You know, you gotta, you gotta think on your feet. I got a builders, I got a builders market coming up. That's just, this is just disastrous. Okay, so we got that. These two go. Oh, I lose three reputation, don't I? One, two, three. How about this? <laughs> so I am going to... Um, I could pass. Yeah, I'm just going to... You know, I'm just going to bank this money and go for something big next next turn. Hopefully they get a refreshed market and I can get a monument because I'm, I'm dead in the water. So I'm going to bank that money. comes over here. They steal my last piece of... I get a four. Go down and we'll look at the value tile. So we have a courtship monument, no. We have the courtship tile, which is prestige, no. Monument tile, no. Prestige tile, no. Estate tile, no. Sporting tile, yes. Well, and that's not good. And that's how much was that? That's 400. 400 pounds. Go one up. Oh, I don't have any more fives out here. Okay, they're done there. And, uh, did I, yeah, I think I, I think, you know, I stole my reputation, but I don't think I gave it to them. Okay, this slides down. Reach in here. Ho, oh, Manor Gargoyles. That may have saved my bacon. Well, not, well, who am I kidding? It's not saving anything. So now we're on to the Builder's Holiday. We're going to slide this down. And... We're going to go here, go here. We can't even do that. <laughs> going to take uh, 300 there. Going to go back to the bowling green here. Take 500 more. And I got that. It goes into there. This comes down here. We have 
1800. Well, I'm going to take 1100 is going to be this. Take a reminder tile. And 1100. And I'm going to take 400. That's 1500 right there. Just in case service comes up, I'm going to smoke them on service. It'll make absolutely no difference. 1500 slide that down reach in grab two more oh jeez music room okay come back here can't steal my reputation so you can go pound sand position 10 is uh, position one he picks himself up a brushing room happy to give him a brushing room breakfast room a couple of those out there we now go to this courtship prestige courtship I have reputation of one and I've won a courtship six to my uh, nine twelve wow hey give me him back I am going to well you know do I care no I got to go for invites because who cares what what that happens Wow, that's pretty cool. I cannot believe it. Come on, please be, please be big. Another five. I could get a servant. That would ruin my... Ah, I'm not going to... Ah, the wheels are turning. So we now uh, rotate this. We go to 13. We have a new... Oh, prestige is double. I don't believe this. <laughs> I don't believe this. Okay. So... Uh, we start out stealing reputation. He can't steal reputation. And we uh, and that's keeping him from flipping up on this. And uh, I've never played a game like this. So one, value tile analysis. Uh, prestige. He's going to grab this. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Four reputation. One, two, three, four. Music room flips. I've got to somehow be able to buy. Uh, and that uh, triggers... Five triggers this guest here. So he gets two more reputation. Triggers six, which triggers her. We'll get to her once we're done here. We have 300. 300 goes over there. Goes to the bottom of the gentry deck. We trigger this uh, wonderful lady. And we get a victory point card. And we're just getting crushed. One, two, three, four. She goes to the bottom of the deck. Well, I had a brief flirt with maybe doing the most improbable thing ever. Oh, crap. Stateroom. I wonder if I could somehow get that. I need to pass to get both my American heiresses for next turn. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass. Fresh my guys. You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm going all out for that. So I am not going to refresh the market as you would think. This gives me five. Okay, we move on. It's the national holiday, and they're going to roll, and they get a 19, a no purchase. Wow, that means for the national holiday. Not that they really play that, but they have absolutely. They got no reputation because I have none. And they didn't get a tile. I got it. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so now I can play. Um, oh my gosh, service is going to be this. This service I should have gotten servants. I, I have. Okay, here's here's what I have to do. I have to go to the tennis court. Oh, I get I get a reputation. <laughs> I have to go to the tennis court. So that I can play, check, check this out. <laughs> I'm going to the tennis court. <laughs> what am I doing? So I lose my one reputation, but I wanted the second level there. I got to keep loading up on these points. He's marginal. And I get 800, 1100 more, which is the exact, uh, I actually get 100 bonus for this. This goes here. I flip 
this tennis court and that goes in the discard pile. I get that five victory points on the front side. I'll never play it. Um, I actually get 100 back because I had 1100 that cost. Or, yeah, 1300 that costs. Or 1100 that costs 1000 Pull from here, main library. And wow, how about that? So we get back over here, and we have Steal a Reputation. Can't do it. Sorry, got stuck. Seven, it's going to do a value analysis. Number one, no. Number two, no. Number three, no. Number four, no. Number five, no. Number six, going to take the cheapest. Wow, that West Saloon. That didn't help the final courtship. Oh, man, that was bad. That was bad. Jeez. Crap. I'm going to go ahead and draw out drawing room. So the last play of the game comes to me. Rotate the cert. How did that service get there? What did I screw up, guys? That was last service, and they would have rotated there. That's right. Okay. That, that's correct. Now, uh, I have no reputation, but I need money. I'm going to go to the bowling green. I'm going to use this guy. First level guy, yeah, 300. Okay, let's see if we can do it. And so that gives me three, 500. It gives me 1,100. I can get this for 800. It gives me another two victory points. And this abomination of a game where I have finished a game with one rep, with no more reputation than I began. Final courtship. Let's add it up. Are you ready for this? 46 to 42. I win. I've got 7, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 38 and 3, 41, 46. They've got 10, 12, 12, 24, 5, 29. 29 and 10 is 39 actually. Can you believe that? I won the final court. <laughs> I'll keep her with one reputation. And uh, oh, it's sort of crappy. Uh, that's a crappy one. And uh, I'm going to pause here and total this up. Well, that was short lived. At least I won the final courtship. I have something to hang my hat on. But it's tough when you have a one reputation there, unless 126 to 93. I don't know if that showcased the most normal game of the dynamic AI, but I think it'll at least give you a flavor for how it works. That was probably a pretty low score for the dynamic AI. Uh, I think uh, typically when I was even running the old one, it would be in the 150s or so. Thanks for watching.